This week I've gone right back to basics and done away with the car, counted every penny I've spent on shopping and been rationing food carefully. I'm trying to find out what money can you get by on and if things are tight, just how do you make do? How much do you think is the smallest amount you could live on a week? Oh, I don't know. Would I get away with £50? Do you think you could live on £53 a week? Yes, I imagine I could. Um, with difficulty, but it wouldn't be disastrous. Oh. No, not at all. No. I would never, ever be able no. to. I'm only on day four, and it definitely hasn't been easy. But for some, living on a restricted budget lasts far longer than a single week. Hi there, uh, come on in. I've come to meet Paula Blennerhassett in Carterton. She had to leave her job as a care worker after a back injury and says she now gets by on £66 a week. Well, I've been on benefits since uh, November, December. Everything is hard. Um, it's when someone says, oh, do you want to come out? And you can't. Paula says at times she's been left short for heating her small mobile home. Easter. Um, I actually ran out of gas on the Friday. I was like, say, in blankets. I'm one of these people. I want to work. I have been working. I'm a hard worker. I've just been injured, but I'm paying dearly for it. She is hopeful of one day getting over her injury and getting another job, but says that we're still a long way from really agreeing or truly understanding what it's fair for us all to live on. Emma's with me now in the studio. So how have you found it so far living on £53 a week? Well, let's just say I had a very quiet weekend. Um, <laughs> but what's really struck me is just how carefully I've had to think about every single purchase. Now, I have been having three meals a day, but to be able to do that has meant a lot of careful planning and being really strict with myself and the food cupboards. Now, as we saw there, there's been some mixed reaction to this. Some people say, actually, yes, they can love on very small amounts. And in fact, I've had people getting in touch with me, giving me tips on, on how to get by on a really frugal budget. But... You know, for me, it's taken determination, it's taken real self-discipline, and I can see that it's when things that come up that you don't plan for uh, is when things could go wrong. You've still got a way to go, so how much have you got left? Day four, I've got about 11, just over £11 left. I don't think that's, that's going to go very far, I don't think, Emma. Wish me luck. Thank you.